Hello friends. I am Yolanda with Harper Therapy. I'm kind of even us out. We're a little crooked, <laughs> but that's okay. We're live. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm a little crooked to begin with, so. <laughs> Aren't we all? Uh, I am so excited to introduce you guys to our, our community, to Paula Stano. And um, I wanted to have her come in today. It's Giving Tuesday. Um, we have all survived Thanksgiving. Yes. And you should have eaten all of your leftovers by now, according We're to you. Thankfully. I know. I'm we, thankful for there's, that. Right? There's usually not a <laughs> yeah. lot of leftovers for us. We, yeah, they're usually gone. But I think the, like, the criteria is three days that you're supposed to eat. I couldn't do three days. I can maybe do one. Right. I have to you're not a leftover person. No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, now that we have all um, enjoyed our turkey and Black Friday and have gotten through Cyber Monday. Today is Giving Tuesday. Yes. And I wanted Paula to come in today to share um, about her passion, which is the Stano Foundation. Yeah. Yeah. Can you share, tell us about Absolutely. Yeah. So one, thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Today. I know Thanks we had to reschedule. Um, it all works out in the time does. that it's supposed to. It and does. then I was like, hey, Paula, it's Giving Tuesday. You want to come in? <laughs> Um, so yeah, I am the president and founder of the Stano Foundation, mm -hmm. and I started that back in July of 2015, uh, once my son decided he wanted to go into the Marine Corps, mm -hmm. which kind of tore my heart out in the beginning, and mm -hmm. so I'll give you kind of a high level of how it came about, why we do what we do. Um, he's my one and only, and in his senior year of high school, he said, hey mom, I'm going to go to the Marine Corps. No, you're not. Right. <laughs> so he would bring the paperwork home. I would throw it in the trash mm -hmm. until he took me out to dinner. Um, being a single parent, he thought, well, if I take her out to dinner and tell her, she won't throw a fit. Right. We'll be in public. Yeah. <laughs> Smart guy. He is. He gets that from me. So he said, um, hey, let's go out to dinner, and I have this piece of paper, and it's all the pros and cons of if I don't go, what's going to happen, and if I do go, what's going to be most beneficial for me. So we sat there, we went through it, and I said, okay, well, let's go down and talk to the recruiter. So we went down, we talked to the recruiter. I had 37 questions. Mm -hmm. They hated me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can't get anything in writing. And so what I tried mm -hmm. to do was go through what the, the top questions I had in my head. I mean, he's my one and only. Right. And they literally told me, you really need to cut the cord at some time. And I get that. I truly do. Right, but he's still a senior in high school at this right. point, right? So he's 17. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and it's your job. Yes. To ask the questions. Yes, it yeah, is. I job. still ask those questions. Yeah. He still gets a little frustrated with me. It's but okay. <laughs> he's doing it. One of these days, I'm like, it's not going to get any better. I'm still going to be your mother no matter how old you are. Right? Just so, expect questions. Yeah. We yeah. got all the questions answered. We went home. And I said, you know, if this is truly what you want, then I'll go ahead and, and sign you in. However, no, once I sign that paper, they pretty much own you. Mm -hmm. And he said, yep. If you don't. I will sign myself in at 18. Right. So yeah. He's like, TikTok. Yes. I'll turn 18 yes. eventually. I said, okay, yeah. that that's fine. Mm -hmm. I went. We signed him in. Um, he went off to boot camp. He graduated in June. He went off to boot camp in September. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can't call them. There's no Facebook. Right. There's no right. texting. Yeah. It literally was, I stalked the mailman. Yeah. I waited for the letters to come. Right. The and Marines really do, do yes. own him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the first letter, though, was very amusing for me. So mm -hmm. as soon as I opened it up, it says, they have chicken. I'm fine. Because he is a very picky eater. So I'm not starving. Yeah. That was the best. It made me feel good mm -hmm. um, seeing that as soon as I opened it mm -hmm. up. And what happened after I opened the letters was he told us how these other recruits, because they're not Marines until they pass the crucible, mm -hmm. um, didn't have people to write them letters mm -hmm. or to support them. Mm -hmm. And... It bothered me. It, mm -hmm. re it really bothered me. And I said, well, what can we do to help? Mm -hmm. What do you mean they don't have anyone to write right. to them? He said, well, you know, sometimes their family doesn't believe in them going to the military mm -hmm. or maybe they don't have family. Mm -hmm. So we started writing to these recruits. They called them SAMs, which was Standalone Marines. Mm -hmm. And um, they told us that it truly was like Christmas when they heard their name being called to get, to get the mail. Yeah. yeah. So... That's kind of how it started, yeah. and um, I got crazy. I'm a very nosy mom. I was on Facebook, mm -hmm. and I saw how you could help the Sams. So on graduation day, these young, now Marines, um, would not have anybody there to kind mm -hmm. of cheer them on mm -hmm. or to eat. You have family day, so mm -hmm. they wouldn't be able to eat lunch with anyone. They kind of just by themselves. Mm -hmm. And instead of coming home with their family, they get kind of just put on a bus, 
and bus to their next station. Right, to hang out until mm -hmm. they have to report. Mm -hmm. Right, so normally they get like 10 to 15 days of rest. <clears throat> so what we did was we took up a collection after I saw it on Facebook for these Sams mm -hmm. to kind of pack some backpacks for them to take with them, which is very basic necessities. Mm -hmm. So things maybe they couldn't afford or some snacks. And we had an overwhelming amount of donations. I only had a little car at the time. I had to borrow my friend's SUV. That's great. It was awesome. Yeah. So we drove it up there. We gave them out. It was a great feeling. Um, fast forward to my son figured, hey, um, my first station is going to be Japan. Mm-hmm. I was like, what do you mean? He said, yeah, yeah right. that's what I picked. Right. Uh, yeah, I chose that one on purpose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said he didn't want to stay stateside. He wanted to travel. So mm -hmm. he picked Japan. Um, and we started sending him care packages. And he said, can you do me a favor? I, I love you dearly, but I'm not going to eat all this junk. Right. And my friends so who much. are truly deployed mm -hmm. or are in an MEU or in Afghanistan who can't get these things, can you help them instead? That's great. So that's kind of where it, it started. And yeah. then we thought hey, if we can become a 501c3, then maybe other people will want to help us because right. it is kind of a, a tax write-off. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's that's kind of where it all came from. That's what a great... I hadn't heard the whole story, mm -hmm. right? I knew I knew the story started, but I didn't know like the graduation from yes. boot camp. And, and yep. that's awesome. So we started small. Yeah. We eventually got a little bigger, and now we're three, so... Um, our very first year, we only sent out 64 boxes for Christmas. And We're now, what are you, what's the plan? 750. 750 boxes. 750. So, <laughs> Paula and I got to meet at um, one of the Housewives events, did, right? right? And yes. I believe that you guys were the featured... We were, the um, charity. The charity, mm -hmm. right? And so... Um, since we are a military family, Shaman was active duty, so I, I, you know, everything that you're talking about resonates and why it tugs at mine and Shaman's heart. Right, and we've been right. so honored to, <laughs> to, um, to join you in, in um, supporting our service members. Um, you know, that is going through basic training, going through school, yep. that is a very, um, it's a challenging time, and to go through that alone and not have any support, not have letters. I can't even fathom. Right, right. And then to be deployed, and, and we're talking basics, right? We're talking oh, basic yeah. necessities. So some of the things that you guys collect and are distributing when you send out your 750 boxes <laughs> for, for Christmas. So um, I know that specifically when I went to the Housewives event, you were asking at that time for socks. So we're talking socks, guys. We're talking... Very basic item. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I did ask them because a lot of people will ask me, um, why black crew socks? Mm-hmm. So I said, well, that's funny you ask. So I've asked them, mm -hmm. why do you guys need socks? Well, if they're, you know, walking around doing perimeter walks or it's raining or mm -hmm. they trudge through the water and they get wet, there's no way for them to dry them. Right. So instead of getting, you know, like diseases on their feet because yeah. their feet are soaked. Right. But it's nothing that I would have thought of. Right. Right. Because I'm not, I'm not in their shoes. No, right. No pun intended. Yeah. There, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. So socks, um, feminine hygiene products. Yes. Right. Yeah. So we just had... Um, two female units reach out to us who mm -hmm. are literally in a tent mm -hmm. setting, which is what they told us, mm -hmm. which uh, I couldn't do. Right. Which is why I'm like, hey, I'll support you while I can, but I couldn't be in the military. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, and it's just very basic necessities. And so the other thing is we get a lot of people like, well, doesn't the government take care of them? Mm -hmm. Well, they do to an extent. But right. These, you have to remember, like, and I know you know this, mm -hmm. I only know because my son joined, they're kids still. They're they're spending their money. They don't one. They don't get paid a lot, right. and two. They do. They spend their money on you know some fun things and right. some other things that they probably shouldn't be spending their money on. But they're nineteen and twenty. Right. right. I spent my money on frivolous stuff. Right. Um, right. Well, and when you're deployed and there's no like. <laughs> right. Right. Seven <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> you know. Um, sometimes even those basic necessities and and I know you know shaman was in the army. Um, he was deployed twice while we were married, and and sometimes when um, our military is deployed, there can be pay issues. So there were times that you know pay didn't happen, and yeah, there you go. <laughs> so that's the other thing where they might be sending all their money home, right, mm -hmm. to the family. Mm -hmm. So I try to explain to people, unless you have someone in the military, yeah. it's difficult for you to understand that they yeah. truly are only just given. Mm -hmm basic things mm -hmm. and sometimes those basic necessities don't last especially right. on a deployment yeah and let's just say you know like 
a little bit of creature comforts is is not an un, unrealistic thing to ask it's for, not, right? It's Some truly treats. not. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, the Pop socks, uh, protein bars, beef right. jerky. Mm-hmm. Um, some puzzle books, yeah. regular books to read, yeah. um, just kind of like necessities from home. We, we pretty right. much say it's home in a box. Home in a box. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. So it is Giving Tuesday. It is. Uh, the Stano Foundation is, is one of many organizations that we just love and cherish and um, su- support. Um, so, you know, we wanted to take a t- an opportunity to introduce Paula and Stano um, to you guys so that when you're making your decisions about um, Giving Tuesday and where you can direct some of um, some of your money, uh, you can take them into consideration. And when are you guys, so you guys have big, for 750 boxes oh now, goodness. they're big packing parties, <laughs> right? You're, we you've do. kind of broken them up now. We had to. Yeah. yeah we don't. We would run out of room. Mm-hmm. And so everybody wants to do the pack parties. Mm-hmm. Um, so we do have to have a cutoff. And people mm-hmm. get a little irate with us. But we don't want people. It's a logistic thing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we don't want people stepping on each other. Uh-huh. Um, one, we normally have to find a space big enough to hold us. So right. we, the most we've done at one time is 300. Mm-hmm. And that in itself is a feat. So right. we are doing 500. So what we did is we broke them out. Mm-hmm. We did 150 um, a week or so ago. We're doing 100 on Thursday. Awesome. And then we will do 500 on December 9th. Okay. And then the big. That so is now. the big one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so friends, how can you help? You can give directly to Stano. You yes. can take advantage of Facebook's matching for Giving Tuesday. Um, there are you guys are affiliated with Amazon Smiles, right? Correct. Um, and so you can make some purchases if you really want to have a little piece of you going over to our uh, deployed men and women. Uh, you can make some purchases through Amazon Smiles and have um, support that way. What are some yeah, other there's, ways? So there's the wish there's list. There's some drop off. There's locations. a wish list yeah. um, on Amazon, so it makes it very easy for you to go on and see kind of. Yeah what we need, how many we have, mm-hmm. how many we're still in need of. Yeah. Um, and then if you do go through the smiles, it does donate a percent back to us. And then those items go directly to our warehouse, mm-hmm. well, our storage facility, yeah. where yeah. they're inventoried and then we figure out what else it is that we yeah. need. Um, they can do drop-offs at like Ideal Massage. Mm-hmm. Um, they leave boxes up all year round. Yeah, um, they do, they're great. They're mm-hmm. wonderful. They're one of our greatest, um, just like you guys, are mm-hmm. one of our greatest community supporters. Um, you can donate online. It's www.stano.org slash donate. You can donate right on Facebook. We are under the Stano Foundation. Um, and the Facebook is tagged and the um, website is on there. Okay, perfect. So, um, so people can access that way. As far as people dropping off donations, what are your, well, and we didn't even mention like the shipping costs, right? Oh my Which goodness. Which is so the biggest need. That is our biggest right. expense and... We get a lot of people who get very irate about that too. Like, mm-hmm. well, why do you guys have to pay? I wish I knew. Right? We tried. We <laughs> tried is. to Just talk to the way to that it is, guys. People yeah. at McDill, we've tried yeah. to talk to. Um, Believe me, if the there were a way for her to ship boxes for free, <laughs> Paula would have. I that. would. <laughs> we've tried. We used yeah. to be able to get a discount if we did the labels online. Mm-hmm. They no longer offer that. Yeah. So it's seventeen dollars and forty cents okay. to ship one box. A box, and we're talking seven hundred and fifty boxes. That's about fourteen thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay, so Um, in addition to making donations to toward um, shipping, um, what else? What else is so we're struggling with a couple items that we need. Um, so like mac and cheese in the cups, Mm -hmm. um, cup of noodles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what we do is we always send. Come on, a cup of noodles. I know. I know. Fifteen cents. Um, so we we were granted a nice donation from Bumba's. Oh, cool. So they do the socks. Cool. So hopefully the 1,500 socks will be coming soon. Awesome. Yes. That's and then great. we'll be able to put those in the care packages. So we're missing things like, you know, the cup of noodles, mac and cheese, um, some earbuds. Yeah. So we try to send them earbuds because they've been requested multiple times. Mm-hmm. Um, and when you're out in the desert and hot yeah. and they only last so long. <laughs> well, I, I'm horrible with mine. Right. First of all, I, most of the time I lose them, right. so which is why I assume, assume they ask for them quite right. often. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think of what else was on the list that we're kind of lacking. I think a single serving of the cereals, the little cereal uh-huh. boxes, yeah. um, some Pringles, and just some snack items I think awesome. is what's kind of left. But we yeah. have like all the stockings, we have all the candy, we got a boatload 
of candy this year. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. I know that you collected some um, Halloween candy too. We did. So. We awesome. did. And you can always add a little note. Yeah, little so they stuff. love those. Yeah. We have um, a school that just dropped off, I think it was over 500 letters. Oh, wow, that's awesome. So I love to read them. Mm -hmm. I try to read all of them, but then mm -hmm. I get a little teary-eyed and I have to mm -hmm. put them aside. Um, some of them are fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love that they're really not spelled correctly. Right. So you yeah, can tell what yep. grade they're yeah. in. But they do love those the most. Um, yeah. Last year when we sent some boxes out for Valentine's Day, that was one of the biggest things they said was, we love all the cards. That's we awesome. hung them up in the mess hall so everyone else could see them. Mm -hmm. So it is, they do miss, they miss home. They it miss is, home. They do. Yeah. As much as my son loves being overseas, he gets homesick. Yeah. And he's not deployed, he's stationed there. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. also a, a difference where people say, mm -hmm. well, what do you mean he's, he's stationed, well, he's mm -hmm. overseas. So there is a, there is a difference. Right. Um, a lot of people don't understand that. And a lot of people get upset with us where we do send the packages to any branch Mm -hmm. in any location, mm -hmm. but we do try to reach out to those who are deployed first. Right. Absolutely. That's they need great. it the most because yeah. normally they are in a spot where they can't get mm -hmm. what they need. And yeah. I'm sure you're aware of that. They're either on an MEU, mm -hmm. um, they only get drop ship supplies once yeah. in a great while. And then they Not also a 7 -Eleven share. on the corner, guys. No. <laughs> and, and they share with, right. with one another. Yeah. Which is awesome because they truly are a big family. Yeah. Which makes yeah. my heart happy it knowing, is. you know, like that yeah. they do they become brothers and sisters. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I know that you have poured your heart and soul <laughs> and hours yeah, and really yeah. But I love it. It's, it's so been so rewarding cool. for me. It's been <laughs> so cool to see um, just Stano grow and see the number of boxes um, increase um, and see the recognition that you guys are, are getting. It's slowly coming yeah. and I don't want to get too big too soon. Right. So I also contribute that to, I have a wonderful team. Yeah. I, I oh, yeah. don't do this Absolutely. by myself. Yeah. Um, we have wonderful supporters like you yeah. where it, if there is a need, you guys step up. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I have to really hurt my head about how are we going to get this done? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We get the emails, they ask for help. I put the need out there. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just a, pretty much a conduit. So yeah. I, awesome. I put it out there. You guys are fantastic with, mm -hmm. hey, we'll help. What can we do? Mm -hmm. You share it out. We get what we need. We send it to them. The other thing we get a lot of is, um, well, how come no one ever responds back and says thank you? I'm like, so that's not why we do it. Right. We don't do it for the recognition. Um, we don't do it to be their pen pals. Right. Some of them will respond back, and it's great. Um, I am very lucky that the emails that come in normally come in to the info at stano.org mm -hmm. email, mm -hmm. and I get to see them. Mm -hmm. So I get to converse with these people. Yeah. Awesome. And even after we've sent the packages, they still stay in contact because yeah. we will say, we're getting ready to send out more. Right. Is do there anything more? that you need? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the other thing that kind of makes us a little different is we do ask, mm -hmm. what are the five things you miss from home? What mm -hmm. can we do to help you? Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. want to send them a box filled with something that they can't use, right. yeah. which sometimes that happens with people just fill a box to fill a box mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the best of intentions. But mm -hmm. we, we pride ourselves on putting the care yeah. back in care package. Thank you for being a conduit. Uh, I, I love it. Yeah, I truly awesome. love it. You're awesome. We love you. All right, friends. Giving Tuesday. Yes. Consider Stano as part of your plans. <laughs> Thanks Thank for hanging I out with so us today. I would so appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Have a good day, guys.